how to edit existing surfaces from CATIA with image and shape workbench. So this is an interesting question from Roy Mortlet. Hello, do you know how to edit a surface from an existing CATIA file in Imagine and Shape? Because I tried copying and pasting the surface in Imagine and Shape, but I couldn't find how to edit it. Okay, so in order to have uh, existing surface files as editable, um, there will be needed, let's say, additional step to convert uh, those, those files. So as an example, uh, I have this uh, this bottle uh, shape object that was originally designed in imaginary shape. So that means for existing objects that have been modeled in imaginary shape, I will always have the possibility to go and modify the initial subdivision that generated that shape. So for example, like this, if I'm going to edit it, maybe I would like some uh, some points to be different. So like this, to have a bulge on the, the bottom side, the surface should uh, update and at the end I, sh I should have those uh, as a surface. But uh, they will no longer, let's say, be editable. I will still need to, to go and modify that. So now if I will hide my uh, part body, at the bottom I will have uh, some of the, so for example the bottom part, if I will highlight that, this one have that section, so this offset bottom section, I will see that this will also have that uh, modified applied. And this was a copy from the existing one and just added within a new, a new body. So with uh, insert you have the possibility to add additional body in uh, part design or chanty shape design. So this is one method, but that uh, implies that you should have this modeled image and shape in the first time. And what can I understand from your question? Maybe you have an existing file, so which is a surface, and you would like to have it as an editable uh, object image and shape. So for that, uh, I will make a, a rapid case study. I will define a new part. So file new part for generative shape design. And I will define a surface using two splines. So something like this would be the first spline. After that, I will have an offset from the original plane, maybe to around 100 millimeters. And over here, I will define a new surface. So I don't want it to be, let's say, a flat surface. So that it will be a complex uh, case study for this. Now I will define a multi-section between those two splines. And this will be my existing uh, surface. So I would like to have the possibility to edit this surface in uh, imaginary shape so I can uh, drag various vertices. So to do that, we need to convert this file. So currently this uh, is a 3D model generated using NURBS. So that means if I will go in wireframe mode, it will look like this. So I have the splines defining the shape. And after that, um, that surface will be filled. But my geometry is not divided in vertices, lines, uh, and faces, uh, as in imaginary shape. That's why we need to have this converted. So first I will go and uh, save this with file save as. I will go on desktop. I will call it uh, surface, uh, let's say one. And as a file type, I will go for a step file format for this case. So I will name that surface one. And now I need a software that can uh, convert an existing step surface 
into a polygonal uh, model. So we can either use, I will use GeoMagic for this case, but uh, we can also use a different software like 3ds Max that can also convert that. So I will drag and drop um, from uh, from the desktop that uh, that surface that surface uh, one. So this is the model. We see that the file size is nine kilobytes for this one. I will have that imported in uh, GeoMagic and. Geomagic has the possibility to convert this to a polygonal model. So if I'm gonna go over here, I will have to convert to uh, polygons. We see that this will convert the active CAD object to a polygon object. But at the bottom, we're also gonna see that the mesh triangles will be set to uh, 400,000. So I will have this converted. I see a warning that this operation cannot be undone once it has been executed. We're going to execute that. And currently, this mesh is defined by 400,000 uh, triangles. And this is why we need to have this, uh, this geometry uh, decimated. Because CATIA won't be able to load a surface with so many vertices within imaginary shape. And it will be almost impossible to to have that, let's say, an imaginary shape as an eatable. As imagine over here uh, the total number of vertices, and imagine if you would have uh, 400,000 over here. It will be almost impossible to, to select and uh, translate, uh, the, let's say, the desired ones. So I'm going to go with decimate. In GeoMagic, after you have uh, a surface converted to a polygon surface, you have the possibility to decimate that. And we see over here we can go with the reduction mode uh, with triangle count. So for this uh, case study I will go with 20 triangles. Also this will convert it in a triangular um, model. It will be better to have it um, defined by triangles but by polygons. And we can use uh, 3ds Max and even Blender for for that to have it remeshed better. So I will hit apply. I see that the software has now finished to convert. So visually, I don't see any difference in GeoMagic, but now this shape is only defined by 20 triangles. So if I will go with File, Save As. I will have this saved on, um, on my desktop as an OBJ file, the same naming, so surface one again. And within CATIA, within the existing part, okay, so do you want to apply, uh, I will hit no for that because it was in edit. This is in generative shape design where I define that surface and I will go to imagine a shape. And over here I will have this uh, imported using the import subdivision tool. I will import the surface one. And I will see that I have my shape defined over here. But as you can see, GeoMagic converted that in a triangle shape. So that means that uh, now if I would like to uh, have this edit, I will hit space. It will look like this uh, line model, so I can make that editable. I have the possibility to grab, uh, for example, vertices like this and have that uh, moved. And that will enable me to reshape this. So that's one, one method using, uh, using GeoMagic. But as you can see, the initial one uh, was like this and this is more uh, some curved elements. So there are some uh, some other aspects uh, regarding uh, the final shape for this. So we would need to go with the attraction from zero up to 100, just like in other videos when importing uh, OBJ files. 
and now uh, the mesh will be in this case a little bit closer to that one but there are still some uh, radius that uh, will need to be addressed and, uh, and correct for, uh, for all the edges we can also try to, to make it um, a surface defined by, uh, by polygons not, uh, not triangles we see that now the shapes uh, have, uh, let's say, the look of, uh, of a polygon. But if you're gonna go within the edit mode, there will be only some points that will uh, will control all the surface. So I have the possibility in Geomagic to go over here and have it remeshed. We see that we can do that. So this is the, the initial surface. I can have it remeshed. But not sure if I can have it remeshed as uh, as polygons over here. But I know Blender has the possibility to to do that. So we can have it rewrap. But still, the let's say the system that uh, the software uses will remain uh, with triangles for this one. Okay, so. You can also try with uh, with Blender to have a, to have a model converted from a triangle to quads. There are some functions over there, and uh, I will also create a video regarding that section. But this is pretty much um, let's say a workaround if you would like to edit some uh, existing surfaces from Katia. Since uh, you won't be able to just have those copy paste if you define them in generative shape design, where the shapes are defined by nerves, by splines, or if you start with an imaginary shape where you are using the same uh, polygonal style for the 3D modeling. Okay, so I hope uh, you find this this video useful. I will also uh, reply reply over here with. Uh, with this video. Okay, I hope others found this was also useful. Okay, bye bye.